Hey guys, it's Lou. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are rocking a bright pink lipstick and feeling it, if we're being honest. There is no way I would normally wear this colour, but I don't know, I'm sort of digging it. So today is an up to day update to my um, 100 empties challenge. This was a challenge that was inspired by Alexi here on YouTube. I'll have her video linked down below. Um, she just did an update, I think she's going really well. So this was a bit of a spin off of that. It's a little bit different. So I'm doing this from the 2nd of June, which was my 30th birthday through to the 2nd of June, which is my 31st birthday. And my aim is to finish or declutter 100 items in that year that are not included in my projects. So anything that you see in my project pans or my other projects that are running are not included in this. So they have to be separate. They have to be things I finish off on the side. It can be anything. So it can be fragrances, body stuff, uh, hair stuff, anything. My motivation, like a little kick to myself, was I picked five products to actually have in this as a sort of focus, I guess. But mainly it was things that I wanted to finish off on the side. So I picked three one, two, three, three shower products and two makeup products to have sort of go going as a focus in this project. But it's mainly things that I pick up on the side that are more sort of, uh, I don't know, not a focus, but like the, the point of this project is to like sort of focus on a few things on the side and see how I go and not just have my panning stuff rolling. So last, so the intro, which I'll also have linked down below, I had 11... Um, things that I decluttered or things that were empties at the start, like in June. So that was 11 was my count then. And I picked five things to focus on. So I finished three of the five. So that's pretty exciting. So we'll run through those first and then I'll do a little update on where I am now. I'm very excited with my progress. So let's go through the ones that I managed to finish off. So I did manage to finish off my Pantene. This was the shampoo. It's all gone, it's empty, it's hollow. Um, that was really an achievement for me because I tend to just juggle around whatever's in the shower. I'm not big on shampoo and conditioner. I should be because my hair is terrible. But yeah, it was quite an achievement for me to be able to focus on one shampoo and actually finish it. So that one's done. The other thing is something that I gave up on, to be honest. This is the Fake It Mascara from Astralis. It's just a little mini... I bought it for a Full Face of Australia video that I did with Drea, which I will also have linked down below. But I do not like this mascara after using it for a little bit. Initially, I think it was the first maybe two or three times I wore it, it was really nice. And it looked quite nice, but it was very natural and sort of fluttery. And it, that's not my normal daily sort of jam, I guess, for mascara. I quite like this sort of look, how it's not clumpy, but it's a bit thicker and a bit more volume to them. So I don't, I'm not going to pick this over the mascaras that I have in my everyday makeup drawer. So it just is going to sit there. So this one I'm just calling done. The other thing I managed to finish off that I was somewhat focusing on was the Precisely My Brow in shade number three from Benefit. That's it. Rolled all the way up. So it is completely done. This is the little skinny one. Um, this was just a mini. I really, really love their eyebrow products, so I'm definitely just going to keep repurchasing them. But this was just one that just had a little tiny bit left, and I just wanted to get that moved out. The other two that I have in here, <clears throat> sorry, that I am still working on are bath products, or shower products. So one was the Palmolive Coffee Scrub. I've still got just a bit left, so it's getting to the point where I'm storing it upside down, and I'm shaking it quite a lot to get anything out. And then I had their Ineco, I think that's how you pronounce the brand, hair mask. I've used it more times than I would have if it wasn't in this project, but not enough that I can see progress or anything, so I'm just going to keep chipping away at that. So for this update, um, so that brings our total to 11 plus 3, so it brings our total to 14. Then I finished some things on the side or chose to declutter a few things. We'll go through the decluttered stuff first. <clears throat> So there's two items. They're both foundations. The first is this from Stila. So this was the Stila Laundry Souffle. I hate this foundation. I did like a, um, I don't, I, was it in a 7 for 7? I think it was in one of my 7 for 7s. I don't like this at all. I think it's horrendous. And I was going to keep the jar and scoop it out and keep it pretty. 
but just in the time that it's been sat in there, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see. See how it's gone all gross? Like, it's getting the, like, little starts to, like, what looks like rust on fake metal. So, no, I'm not going to. So this is gone. It's out. Another foundation item is this uh, foundation stick from Colourpop. This is the filter, no filter stick in Fair. Um, this isn't the right colour for me, and I hate mixing stick foundations. I just don't think it works very well. So that's it there. I'm probably going to give this to my cousin, who's quite a little bit fairer than me. So I'll probably give that to her, but that's being decluttered. And then we have empties, which is exciting to have this many empties on the side. The first is from Pixie. This is the Glow Mist. That's it there. I do not like this stuff, so I'm so relieved that it's out. I also finished this primer, which I did cut open from uh, Maybelline. This was the Master Prime in the hydrating one. So I did cut it open. Oh, I just hit myself in the face with it. And scooped it all out. And um, I'm not a fan. I'm in a really clumsy mood today, guys. You're just going to have to bear with me. And the next I finished was from Mecca. This is the Banana Bake Spray from Mecca Max. I love this. So this is on my repurchase spray now. I love everything about it. The smell, I think it actually did something and kept my foundation on. So this is fantastic. So that is now on my want to purchase again list. I finished another eyebrow product from Benefit. This is the Goof Proof. So it's the one that's like the weird shape. Uh, I finished this today. So that was pretty exciting. Again, it's just a mini. It's not going anywhere. There's nothing coming out of it. So that one is done. I also finished this lip balm from Fresh. This is the Sugar Chocolate Hydrating Lip Balm. That's it there, completely scooped out. It's gone. So that was super exciting as well. So that brings my total for this project to 21, which is like so exciting. Because 21 products already, I only want to finish 100. I am very, very excited. We're only a month in. This is great. So I do predict that this is going to slow down dramatically though because obviously I'm going to run out of things that I want to actually declutter. I'm also going to run out of easy to finish items. Uh, so I predict this is going to slow down very dramatically. I think it's just the start because I've had things that I wanted to declutter for a while. So yeah, I think this is going to slow down. So the items that I've chose to roll in to replace the three that I finished for the shower product, I picked this um, original source shower creamy vanilla and raspberry. It's the, one of the big jumbo sizes. So this is where we're at. We've got this much to go. I use this for almost everything in the shower. So body wash, um, shaving, pretty much everything. So this won't be that hard to finish off, I don't think. And then for the makeup items, I picked my Precisely My Brow in 3.5. This is a full size. The reason I picked this is because it's going to be in my drawer anyway, because I quite like using this alongside a thicker eyebrow product. So it's going to be in there anyway. It's not something I want to roll into a normal project. So I thought I'd just pop it in here as sort of a long term sort of thing to work on. But yeah, that one's going to be popped in. And this is a short term sort of thing. This is a Franken blush that I made. I can't remember which project it was, but it's a mixture of like NARS Orgasm and the lightest coral shade out of the Zoeva Coral Spectrum palette. That's all we have is that little bit in the corner. But I cannot get myself motivated to use this up. So this is it. This is it. This is going to get used and be counted in this project and it's going in the bin when I finished it. I'm not repressing anything in here because the packaging's just gone disgusting but this will be used so guys that is an update to my 100 project uh, 100 empties challenge i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're all well and if you're doing a similar project please let me know down below i really love checking out all your channels and i will catch you in my next video bye guys